yeah, room inspection and there are many people, group of people, some are uh, parents and their kids, they're going to college, they're going to the university and so they are looking for accommodation. Take the first exit. Okay, so I just got from the real estate uh, company and they actually signed a one-year contract for a uh, just room. It is actually a student accommodation. Yeah. First, we visit one place, but yeah, I don't like the smell because it's carpeted. Only three people in that uh, apartment. So three rooms, so three people. Yeah, but I don't really like the smell. And then the last one that we check, according to the guy, there is uh, 12 people in that uh, <laughs> in that house but you know the driver actually we are talking and he is telling me that yeah the first the first uh, apartment that we check is uh, nice better than the second one yeah I like the second one actually and so I will be moving next week It is actually already 6 at 20 and I'm preparing my dinner. It is going to be this uh, longanisa that I bought from the Asian store. If you look at this, it still looks the same but actually all the drawers already empty. My cabinet also already empty. I still have some stuff here but most of these will go to garbage. And actually yesterday my landlord said to me by text that I need to organize for someone to collect the furniture yes yeah, so basically he's telling me that this furniture is not him it's not for him okay it's time to eat my dinner good afternoon guys it is already for yeah 4 20 and yeah today i work from six o'clock and i finished two o'clock Although I already got an apartment, but yeah, I'm still uh, bothered about my bun. I want to do something on my bun. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking, planning. Yeah, that's why I cannot vlog. I cannot edit the vlog. But I'm still recording actually. Oh, today I am actually going to the house of uh, Rick. We are having kind of uh, yeah, gatherings. And as usual, I'm going to bring some ice cream. I will buy from the grocery and maybe Inigo again cook something. Oh, I still have this one. This is actually the gift for the son of uh, Brian. During the Christmas day, I did not able to give it to him because I did not see them. I actually like the design of that uh, wipe. Lance, Ro Lance Rover. Yeah, very nice. It's like a jeepney. <laughs> I already found them ice cream, but let's go first to the candies. Lulis to get something for the kids. I'm getting four of this. Yeah, this is a dinosaur. And I also bought uh, three of these. So it's a uh, four, eight, twelve. Twelve pieces. This fridge can actually be converted into a freezer. And now we're going to pick up uh, an egg. beautiful flower yeah plants of uh, Inigo's neighbor other side and as expected Inigo cook some this I don't know what is this maybe lentil dal. yeah Inigo said it's dal Nepali food Indian food
video good day guys yeah today i work from six o'clock and i finish uh, two o'clock and i drive straight here in uh, yeah heather bray here in uh, king's adventure for wd if you remember i went here before and i had a conflict i had a problem with my solar panel yeah this one yeah and they refund me because i complained to the new south wales you know yeah government and they refund me and this is what i am intending to buy yeah this uh, kind of uh, drawer system there are uh, different setup of this of four wheel drive even this uh, i forgot the name but this is a kind of tent of oh, swag the name is swag awesome yeah nice so yeah i got this this uh basket and the uh, torch is actually free together with those uh, things that i just bought but i need to pick it up at the back so we're going to the back actually the guy the cashier he initially said that it's a uh, 149 and then i said oh isn't it just a uh, 108 yeah i said like that and yeah, he smile and oh yeah, yeah. Good story. And we are now here in Hungry Jack. Hungry Jack is a Burger King in other countries. And then there's a KFC at the back. We go to Hungry Jack instead. Look at this uh, super stunner. Yeah, this is uh, good. Looks affordable and lots of uh, included. Comes with this and this chicken nugget, a chips and the burger. This eleven something dollars. I just finished uh, eating, but I actually didn't finish, so I still have more there. And I am excited now to open this to unbox this. Yeah, this is actually the five hundred uh, millimeter. Because the 700 millimeter is not available. And my always last is the spot. Spot what? What? Spot pre rinse. I have one. I know one minute and 29 seconds good morning guys it is already yeah 6 uh, 11 and i am day of today actually i've been awake since uh, 5 o'clock yeah i'm usually waking up early because of my work i actually started already Pro this is probably where i am going to put that fridge and a microwave oven and what i am planning now is actually to remove this because i want to put here the monitor that i am using inside the house and then the monitor that is here will go to someone oh it's not a good place for the microwave i don't like it like this is also a possible idea this will be in the same i found another idea here i now know the positions of uh, everything but the problem now is how to secure when it's a uh, place and i'm already very hungry i'm going to just fry an egg and reheat this rice. if you remember this uh, side table this is the one that is on my bedside for this uh, microwave oven not to be moving to be steady i'm going to put this so it's like a barrier this is actually a little bit difficult i finished already and yeah this is the final setup it was very tiring and I'm now very hungry. That's why I'm going to McDonald's. I'm ordering now. 
and it's going to be $14.25. Yeah, this is what I got. Entering time lapse mode. This is just a chicken burger, cheeseburger, coke, also prape, and chips. This is the chicken burger. So good day guys, yeah I'm here in uh, Jasmoon shopping center and I took my yeah leasing contract from the real estate company so basically I get the key for my new room and actually it is a uh, very hot outside yeah same temperature like in Dubai and like in the Philippines I don't know the actual temperature But it's just a 31 degree humid hot yeah it's hot but you know this uh, temperature it's not like this in Nelson Bay this is going to be my new apartment this is actually a shared accommodation and if I'm not mistaken mostly are students in here yeah I am renting just a room and this is going to be my room so this is it yeah coming from the door this is the door and this is the bed nice and that is how it is going to be there is a cabinet here let's have a look at this cabinet this very traditional looking cabinet I like that there is a mirror and this one it doesn't look uh, clean so one thing that I like is there is a natural light I found those spoon and yeah, cigarette. Of course, I'm not expecting the place to be clean. And you see, you notice the color of the drapes. Let's see if I'm going to make it white. No way. Actually, I'm willing to change it. At my own expense. Actually, before coming here, I went first to the grocery and I bought this, these uh, wipes. I just went outside to wash this and I realized that the air condition is actually centralized outside. But the room, no air condition, just a pan. There are also some stain on the wall, just like this. Look at this very dirty switch. I almost clean everything already. I'm going to use the other side of the bed. There is actually a stain, but I think there is a stain of the wood. They have actually a vacuum machine, a yeah, vacuum cleaner. Took it from outside. I use it, switch it on, and suddenly it becomes it smells like dog. I already have the television. Yeah, that's the, some of my boxes. Entering time lapse mode. And we are here in the petrol station. But where I am actually going is here at KFC. Yeah, I'm hungry. 
most of the order are uh, drive through we already changed the box if you remember before you tear it here and it will be like a half box not anymore you see that big crane yeah and that big ship there is another big ship on that side the name of this place is Kuragang Islands this is uh, surrounded by river that ship is actually in the big river part of the hunter river if you are not mistaken and maybe you are thinking why i need to rent a room if i can actually stay here in the barn yeah in here i have fridge i will have a microwave oven i have a cooking uh, materials cooking equipment yeah i can actually stay here but you know i'm not uh, very confident yet <laughs> of living in the barn yeah the same like before i'm not confident of moving to just room but now it is okay for me i feel uh, confident i feel comfortable to stay in the room just a room yeah before i'm a little hesitant i feel like i'm going to lose my yeah comfortability good life yeah but then i realized my future plan yeah i think of my uh, future plan my goal my goals if i don't downgrade to a small room for a cheap room i won't be able to save bus i will be able to save but it will take time so this technique of uh, downgrading to just uh, a room is going to make me save faster quicker hopefully <laughs> And we are back here in uh, Salamander Bay Shopping Square. So basically, I still have like uh, two weeks yeah, to stay here in uh, Bay Area, here in uh, Nelson Bay. And yeah, of course, I'm already paying in my uh, new apartment and I'm still paying here in my apartment. Yeah, for two weeks will be like that. And it's okay it's all right so basically what happened yeah so maybe a month ago i initially informed my landlord that i am going to look for a new place that i'll be i'll be leaving the apartment and then after two weeks he asked me again when i am planning to leave i said that next week yeah i said like that and then he replied saying that oh that's very short notice and then I said, oh, sorry, actually, I can stay uh, one month more if you want, because I feel they are uh, not happy. Yo, good afternoon, guys. So many people in here, even especially at the beach, here in the restaurant, very busy, a lot of people. Over there, even there, yeah, everywhere. When I was driving, yeah, coming from my workplace, a lot of people along the beach yeah the reason is because it is very hot as in very hot yeah if I am going to compare it to the other country I mean yeah I experience uh, the same hotness or the same uh, heat in Dubai yeah when I was in Dubai it's the same during summer yeah it's not just the temperature is hot but also the wind is uh, hot and actually when I get out of the workplace I was uh, trying to figure out I was finding a place where is the good temperature but yeah I didn't find it yeah I mean the whole area the whole place has the same temperature actually yesterday I was in uh, Newcastle and in Newcastle the temperature was similar to this uh, temperature yeah the same like uh, summer in Dubai but I was explaining that maybe it is only in Newcastle because uh, on the area I was a little bit far away from the sea so yeah the temperature is hot but now I realize that I am here yeah it's actually the same hotness the same hot 
even near the coastal area or even inland and this is the very first time that I experienced this uh, very hot temperature here in Australia usually the heat is only during uh, yeah when you are under the sun but yeah, if you are under the shaded area the temperature is good but yeah it's not this time it's hot everywhere you go oh today i work from uh, six o'clock and i finished two o'clock and today is actually australia day and yeah today is the anniversary of my australian citizenship if you remember last year i did my australian citizenship uh, ceremony today is uh, january 26 2024 yeah also here a lot of people and i'm going to buy ice cream from this ice creamery marina yeah it's actually very busy here and this is what i got this ice cream this salted caramel is delicious and this uh you know celebration of my one year anniversary being australian citizen look at that lots of people there are also some uh, doing kind of a speedboat over there and yeah we are now here in ply point this actually is the ceremony where they do the yeah the australian citizenship ceremony uh, the guy is removing the barrier for the lady to get in <laughs> oh yeah as i can see here the stage is still uh, uh they are uh, packing down now you can read it over there it says australia day yeah yeah last uh, last year was also hot was not but not very hot like this and there are some uh, store on that side now it's all good we are back to normal and we'll be vlogging again and because today is uh, australia day i have this new yeah kangaroo with the plug i'm going to put it here and then i'm going to remove it yeah i don't want to put it anymore <laughs> 